Aloha. Today I'm going to be testing with three of the swords I've created. Swordfish bill swords. Um, two of them are made more for thrusting and one of them is made for slicing. This first one here is a large swordfish bill and what I've done with the wood is actually I've inset the wood on both sides um, and then I have it lashed together and then the shark, tiger shark teeth along the hilt. The second sword here is inset into the wood and then pegged and then I have it lashed. I have bull shark teeth and tiger shark teeth. Uh, bull shark are on the hilt, tiger shark on the blade itself. And this last sword here, oh, rather the third, the, the last swordfish bill sword, I have bull shark teeth that run the entire length of one edge. So this one was made with the idea with, of slashing or cutting, um, less so of stabbing. Uh, the final sword I have, I'm not going to be testing with today. Um, since I was just playing with swords, I thought I'd bring this one out. This is actually assembled. So each piece assembles together just like a traditional cantana and tight together. Well, let's get testing. I didn't hit it very hard. Um, I honestly am not expecting it to do much. To my surprise, it actually did kind of slice in a slight bit on the edge. coming down with an overhead strike. Same thing, trying to test it. It actually, it actually did more damage to the tie down than it did to the ballistic shell, which is kind of funny. That was an accident. <laughs> now, let's test with this a little bit more on how this piece was designed to work. I'm gonna do a thrust. So that just speared in. It actually probably go a lot deeper. Um, I don't have this specific sword sharpened very much to a point. Um, it's largely maintained its same structure. Uh, that cut it really well. So now, now what I'm going to test with is something that I've kind of been curious about. So I took the one inch dowel, that's what was left of the one inch dowel that I had, and I stabbed it through the ballistics gel. And what I'm gonna to try to do is see if it will either cut through the ballistics gel and then cut the dowel, or if it'll just snap the dowel. Um, similar to you know hitting someone on the leg or arm or even the ribs. Oh, so that hit hard. That was a good hit. Oh man, look at that. So that just stabbed right in. And you can actually see where it cut into the ballistics gel and then completely snapped uh, the wooden dowel. So that was a pretty impressive strike. That would definitely cause some damage if that were to come down on, on any part of it. I don't see any damage on the blade itself. So the second sword is actually my favorite one. And I built this one specifically for thrusting, which is why I have it lashed after the shark. So the idea that I had on this one was a user would thrust with it or turn and strike with the hilt um, or even the, the, the pummel, which comes down to a point. Ooh, this step right in. Now this one is sharpened. That's an eight inch ballistics gel. Went all the way through to the other side. That was pretty impressive. Um, this one is made more for slicing. Now I'm, I can't really get a good angle in here, so I'm struggling to figure out a good way to, to hit it. I'm also a little nervous. So I actually missed most of the gel and ended up hitting the, the padding in the back. You can see that slice down there. Um, that did cut through actually pretty well. I wasn't really swinging too hard. Uh, this next strike, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull it across. Oh, yeah, so that was nice. 
So that, that did exactly what I was expecting. It just slices right through. <laughs> oh, I was way too excited. I totally just snapped my favorite sword. <laughs> uh, I even thought about it. As I was setting it up, I thought I should put the fruit, uh, the melon, on top of the bags rather than resting it on the plate because there's uh, wood that sticks up. And sure enough, the tip of the wood just hit against one of the one buys. And it was just enough to put enough pressure on it that it snapped. Oh. Dang it.